Hey everybody, it's Chris with Everything Ham Radio. Today we're going to be talking about the Yaesu FTM 400 XDR. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. My name is Curtis, my call sign is Kilo5 Charlie Lima Mike. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Yaesu FTM 400 XDR. But before we get into that, please make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Got a whole bunch of stuff coming up this next month in September. Uh, gonna do a lot of stuff on the youth, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. Okay, right, so let's get on into the overview of the Yaesu FTM 400 XDR. So the XD, the 400 XDR is available on Amazon right now for $499.95 and I will have a link in the description below to get that. The XD the 400 the 400 XDR is a upgrade of the 100 XDR that I did last week. Uh, but it's basically pretty much the same. The big difference is the screen. And that it's a true dual band radio. So there is 500 memory channels per band. There's 500 on two meters and 500 on uh, 70 centimeters. The frequency range ranges from 108 to 999 megahertz on the received side. And on the transmit side is 144 to 148 and 430 to 450. Just like the 100, the output power is three times uh, 5 watts, 20 watts, and 50 watts. It does have the full 50 watts on the 70 centimeter side. It also has the loud 3 watt audio output on the internal speaker. And if you use the external speaker, you get a whopping 8 watts of output power. Now, the biggest difference between the 100 and the 400 is, like I said, the screen. It has a large 3.5 inch full color screen. Um, and it is touch screen compatible. Um, the options for the screen include a band scope, a altitude screen, an APRS screen, a smart navigation screen, frequency direct input screen, and a clock and timer screen. The real time band scope is uh, one of the options and it allows you to view the band or a portion of the band with uninterrupted receive audio. It does have the automatic mode select function, just like the 100. Um, this one is actually the first one that had the AMS feature. Uh, this allows the radio to detect the incoming signal uh, automatically and switching the radio to whether it is, is uh, C4FM or analog. The 400 operates in three digital modes and one analog mode, just like the 100 did. Um, the VD mode, or the voice data simultaneous communication mode. Uh, in this mode, the digital voice signal is transmitted on half of the bandwidth, the 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth, and simultaneously the other half is used for error correction of the voice signal and for other data. In the second mode, the voice FR mode, or full rate mode, uh, this mode uses the full 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth to transmit digital voice data. The increased amount of voice data permits high quality voice communication, providing superb sound quality for rag chewing with your friends. The third mode is the data FR mode, and it is the high speed data communication mode. This high speed communication mode uses the full 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth for data communication. This is great for sending pictures or high uh, quantities, qual quantities of data at a high speed. And last but not least, the analog FN mode. This mode is great for when you're trying to make that, con that uh, contact that's a little bit too far away on simplex to uh, hear well, you know, digital is going to drop, is either going to be there or it's not. With analog, you have a little bit more room. So let's say in, um, in digital mode, you have seven mile reach on simplex. On analog, you might get an extra mile or two. And this also works great if you're on the fringes of the repeater. You can use the analog mode and it will, you'll be able to hit the repeater a little bit better. Uh, the, it has a built-in GPS receiver and antenna that provides location, time, direction, and APRS information. It also includes a 1200 or 9600 baud APRS 
TNC. Uh, it's built into the radio. Um, and also one of the functions that I didn't mention on the 100, it has a digital group mode function that automatically checks whether members of me members registered to a group are within communication range and displays information such as distance and orientation for each call sign on your screen. So if you have a friend of yours that is a couple miles away and it's within direct simplex communication, they'll pop up, on, pop up on your screen and you'll be able to say, okay, well, this person's here and he's on his radio, let me give him a call. Um, it also has a optional microphone that you can buy. Uh, it is the MH-84A11U and it has a built-in camera. Uh, press the microphone shutter button to take the picture and then send the image directly uh, from your radio to other C4FM digital transceivers. And you can also view that picture on your screen as well as save it to a SD card that you have to buy uh, extra, of course. Um, it also has a uh, optional Bluetooth module that you can install on this radio. It is the BU-2, uh, which retails for $95.95 on Amazon. Again, I will put links in the description below. And also it has the optional voice guide unit, the FVS-2, uh, which retails for $43.80. Uh, what this does is it will announce your current operating frequency, band changes, and APRS messages. You can also record up to five minutes of received signals or continuously record the last 30 seconds of your received audio. Okay, so now that we've got the basics of the radio over. Let me talk a little bit about the differences between the 100 and the 400. Uh, the biggest difference, of course, is going to be the screen. It has the full color three and a half inch screen. Uh, it's touch screen, and it is a full, du uh, full, true dual band radio. It has dual receive uh, functions on it. The difference in price is only $100 to $150, so it's going to make it a little bit better uh, of a buy, a little bit more bang for your buck, I think. Um, the touchscreen makes it really nice to be able to input your frequencies, change your settings, and so forth. Um, it also has the navigation feature and the APRS feature that you can see right there on the screen um, in full color, uh, which, is, which again will make it a whole lot easier to see and uh, to understand in relation to where other people are. Now the 100 does have the group mode feature as well, um, but it just shows a portion of the screen of where they are in relation to you. Uh, more of a text-based thing than a visual map thing. So between the two, which one would I buy? If you have the money to do the uh, FTM 400 XDR, definitely go for the 400. Um, I think it's going to be a much better buy, um, if nothing else, than for the dual receive uh, option of it. Okay, so that is it on that radio. I hope you enjoyed this video and this overview of this radio. Next week, we're going to be talking about the Kenwood TH-D74A. Again, another great handheld radio. Um, I really like this radio. Um, it's an upgrade to actually the one that I have. So make sure you click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And until next week, y'all, I will see you later. 73.